Well, hello, it's me again. I'm Brother West, Prophet West. I hope um, the words that I um, I spoke to you this morning really bless you. I really do. I really hope they bless you. Um, I have something else that I want to bless you with. Um, I was um, sitting and talking to my wife, and the word came into my spirit, cut back, cut off, clipping. And I was thinking about it, and it's like a um, trees, bushes. Every so often, when it gets so, when it gets, when it grows so high, or when it when it becomes too full, um, the people have to come out and cut the hedges. And also with trees, you have to cut some of the branches off. And the purpose of it is to cause it to continue to grow. So, in other words, in order for these things to grow even better, the dead stuff has to be cut off. So, when, once the dead stuff is cut off, that the new stuff might live. And this is what, and this is where many of you are, and this is what God has been speaking to you. I don't know if you realize and understand it. It seems like you've been cut, pulling away stuff. God's been telling you to separate yourself. Uh, um... I forget your past or uh, ignore your past. Um, lay aside things that are holding you back. Uh, separate from ungodly soul ties and things that are that are distractions and, and fears and all those things. These are things that are being cut off that are dead. And see, what's happening is that God has called you to cut away those things, those habits, those people, those desires that um, conflict against your purpose, conflict against wisdom, conflict against the word of God. And so God has called you to cut those things away. And the reason why God has called you for you to cut those things away, see those things are dead. They're dead and they don't have no life. They don't have no life. They don't have no reason to be with you. Even the, even the Bible said, uh, sweet and bitter water can't flow from the same fountain. How can um, good and evil um, fellowship together? So those things are disconnected. The Bible also said, how can two walk together except they be in agreement? So those things that has attached themselves to you that are dead, God wants to separate them things because there's not an agreement there. And anytime there's not an agreement, anytime there's not unity, that you're not glorifying God. And so God wants you to glorify him fully. And God wants you to, there's certain, a certain um, uh, power. There's a certain ability. There are certain gifts that are birthing up. There are certain abilities that are birthing up. But in order for those abilities to continue, continuously to birth up, you have to cut away certain things that are blocking or in the way of those things coming up, those things developing, those things flourishing. And so that's my message today is that God is cutting away. This is why he's telling you to even fast, deny your flesh, uh, all those things. Jesus said, if a man come after me, he must first deny his flesh and take up his cross and follow me. There's something in you must die. There's something in you that must be cut off that you might become liberated and free to move forward see many of you you you're, you're being cut off from your past you've been cutting off uh from uh the things of your past the things that once um tormented you the things that you once how you once live and see the thing about it you're not the same person you're not you're a different person you're a different person you used to be that person you used to do that you used to say that but you're in a new dimension now you're older you're wiser you go you've been through so many more things and so with those things that you've been through there's information but also in that that you've been through, that's responsibility because the Bible says as much as given, much is required. But also the Bible says him that know will be beat with many strikes, but him that know less be beat with less. And so what you know, you are held accountable for it. But also in what you know and what you become aware of, that means an elevation. When you come to a place where things that you didn't understand, when you come to a place that things that you now see that you didn't see before, now the place that you've come to, you come to your place of elevation. You come to your place of your new dimension. And in this new dimension, there are new things, there are new challenges, there are new blessings, but they are big giants. And so at this place of um, your new dimension, there are things that you must fight and face and fear, doubt, disbelief, whatever it is that you must face. See, because in this season also, Anything that's hidden, it's going to be exposed. It's going to come up. It's going to come up. Whatever's hidden. See, the light is shining. See, see when God's light shines, anything and anywhere where there's darkness, 
light expose whatever is dark. And so what's happening, God is exposing, God is exposing and he's removing that you might catapult, that you might live, that revelation knowledge might come forth, that those abilities might even come forth even greater, wherein you can understand and be settled in him. Have a good morning. Have a good day. God bless you. Have a smile on you. And keep your head up. Don't look down, look up. For your redemption, draw off nigh. Look unto the hills. For with cometh your help. Because your help comes from the Lord. Not a man. Not a woman. Not a situation. Not a circumstance. But your help comes from God. It was God that woke you up. It was God uh, that, 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 that raised you up. It was God that touched you. It was God that woke you. Open your eyes up this morning. It was God that caused the blood to run warm in your body and your veins. It was God that touched you with his finger love and he said arise and I say to you today those that are down you're down in a stupor you're down in pain you're down in discouragement I declare to you today as, as as one of God's Western Union boys I speak to you today to arise just like the angel spoke to Peter when Peter was in prison that angel said arise take up your take up that garment and arise and the moment that he arose what was holding him fell hear me if you listen to the word, the Bible says, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying. If you hear this word, when it's, and I'm saying arise, if you arise based on your faith, when you arise, what's holding you, it's got to let you go. Have a good day.